Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, today is Scary Security Day. <laughs> uh, we talk about these little devices, these flash drives or USB thumb drives that people use that are very useful, a lot of fun because it's small. You can plug this on computers, share files and pictures, but you have one major drawback, and it's that they could be infected with malware, and actually... Uh, there's a there's two campaigns going on, and there's actually, uh, according to some security researchers, uh, a threefold increase in malware that is distributed through USB drives in the first half of 2023. So what happens is that when you plug this on a computer that's infected, the infection will create a folder on the drive that has the ability to boot an executable. And once you plug it on your PC, then that executable goes on and you get infected and that's the way it continues and continues to spread. Um, two types are seen right now that are the most dominant ones. One is more for enterprise, uh, the one that is called Sogu, which comes from China. And apparently, uh, if you're if you if you you know work in enterprise and share a lot of USB drives, be aware that uh, there could be malware for that. It's a cyber espionage type campaign. They're trying to basically breach and get data from you know uh, services and big companies and things like that. That is one of them. And for the more regular folks that probably a lot of you are. Uh, there's the Snowy Drive campaign, which is a different one. And this one actually is interesting because uh, researchers have noted that for the most part, it is undetected by antivirus. So, you know, when I tell you antivirus isn't that great, uh, it detects stuff, but there's a lot of it that it doesn't. And this is another one. Um, what it does is actually drops a backdoor and evades security software of any kind stop thinking yours is better than another it's not they're all the same and all behave in the same way and uh once there what happens is that now the uh hackers have access to the command prompt where they can issue commands and do what they want with your pc basically so it's uh, kind of interesting to see this um you know the best thing to do with usb thumb drive is to share as minimal as possible. Try not to share with friends. It's it's the worst thing you can do. As a tech guy, when I actually fixed computers, the number of times that my USB thumb drive that I use to actually have you know my tools available was infected so many times. Um, you know, I would have a habit of actually plugging it on a device that is neutral that cannot be infected because. You know, a lot of these are not cross-platform. So if you have Windows malware, if you plug it on a Mac computer, for example, um, that Windows malware cannot infect Mac OS because it's a different type of code. Um, or Linux, or, you know, I had different machines so that I can actually wipe the drive on another platform. And then once that was done, then I could put it back on a Windows machine to, you know, format it properly and have everything all right. It's a very, very delicate thing because USB thumb drives are so useful to share that a lot of people don't really think that, you know, malware could come from them. Uh, for them, it's all we're just sharing files. The funny thing about the, um, the um, uh, one that's called Snowy Drive, it actually... Just to make you even kind of think that maybe it's safe, the the folder that it creates where the malware resides is called Kaspersky. So if you know a little bit about antivirus and, and security software, well, you'll see, oh, look at that, there's Kaspersky thing on it. It must be a safe drive to use. And, of course, that's the way to, that these guys work, trying to pretend that you're safe when you're not. So... Don't share USB drives or really to the minimum. 
And do not plug them in into any computers that you don't know what they are all about. Don't plug USB thumb drives on, you know, internet cafe machines. You're, you're going to get bitten by malware, that's for sure. Uh, and try to use them just on your own as much as possible. And if you do share it with somebody to uh, give, you know, files and folders and stuff like that, um, you know what? Just um, try to make sure that you, um, you know, format them completely on a on another machine because you can't plug them in on a Windows machine if you share it on a Windows machine. That's the complex thing about these. Um, trying to format them in other ways um, is, you know, trying to... That's where maybe having, like, you know, a, a little Linux machine is, is nice because you plug it in that machine, you format it there, and then you can bring it back to Windows and it's going to be okay. And, of course, that is the same for everything. If you share between Linux machines... Don't, you know, you can get infected. If you share between Mac computers, you can get infected. So if it's a Mac Mac computers that you, you know, MacBooks that you shared a USB thumb drive, it can contain a Mac malware. And, of course, that means you need to format it on something else, a Windows machine or a Linux machine or and the other way. You know, if it's a Linux, you're sharing on different Linux platforms. Well, maybe share, you know, formatting it on some other device. But But even then, you know, it's it's a tough one. Uh, you share the uh, try not to share USB thumb drives unless you're really really sure that the person that will use it is actually virus free. And of course, don't rely on the fact that they have antivirus for that. Doesn't mean anything. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.